Let's balance the equation for P plus HNO3. This is phosphorus and this is nitric acid. So the first thing we want to do is count the atoms up on each side. We have one phosphorus, one hydrogen, one nitrogen, and three oxygen atoms. In the product side, we have to be a little bit more careful. Phosphorus, we have the one. Hydrogens, we have two plus the three here. So we have a total of five hydrogen atoms. Nitrogens, just the one here. And then oxygen, two plus one plus four. So seven total oxygen atoms. So really, let's start with the hydrogens here. If we put a five in front of the HNO3, we'd have one times five. That would balance the hydrogen atoms. Then one times five, that would give us five nitrogen atoms. And then three times five, that gives us 15 oxygens. Okay, well, we could come over here with the nitrogen. We need five of those. So if we put a five there, one times five, that would give us five nitrogen atoms. Let's update the oxygens. So we have five times two, that's 10, plus the one here, plus the four here. And that gives us 15. So this equation is balanced. More likely than not, you're not gonna see just P here in the equation, it's gonna be P4. That's normally how we find phosphorus. But if you're asked to balance this equation, that's how you would do that. If we were to write the states, probably look like this. I would expect your nitric acid would be aqueous and that your phosphoric acid when you're done, that would be aqueous as well. Water is gonna be a liquid. This might be exothermic, so it might be warm and that could be a gas at least initially, but liquid's okay as well. This is Dr. V with the balanced equation for P plus HNO3. Thanks for watching.